Have you ever wondered if noise cancellation headphones actually work to cancel the noise? Well, I did, tons of my patients do, and now you can change from a do to a did because I put them to the test using a special measurement system I use in my clinic every day to look at what happens in people's ears. Hi, I'm Dr. Ryan Hill, an audiologist, author, app developer, and now scientist. In this video, I'll show you some measurement data where I looked at the actual sound pressure levels or SPL at different frequencies in my ear while wearing noise canceling headphones and make a scientific determination based on my findings. If you don't mind, please consider subscribing to this channel by hitting the subscribe button and the like button. You can also hit the alert button to alert you when we have more new content. Please also feel free to leave comments down below if you want to see anything else. In this experiment, I used my new Apple AirPods Max, which I purchased using my personal credit card points. This particular set of earphones runs around $550 online, and I likely wouldn't have purchased them without my credit card points. However, I do consider myself an audiophile, tech geek, and I love spending money on new technology if I can afford it and have a use for it. In this case, I wanted a new headset for travel, and it was the perfect opportunity to put noise cancellation to the test. Before we get into the real testing, I will say that these headphones do have some pretty awesome sound quality when listening to music, shows, or anything else over their Bluetooth connection. If you're a true audiophile, you'll likely be more satisfied with something hardwired and a more expensive high fidelity setup than my iPhone 12 Pro and these headphones. But that kind of strays from the point. So let's dive in. To get the measurements, I used real ear measurement equipment designed for measuring hearing aids called the AudioScan VeriFit 2. We use it to fit and fine tune hearing aid prescriptions, verify hearing aid features, and troubleshoot problems. The measurement that happens is the actual SPL or sound pressure level measurement. The probe microphone is within five millimeters of my eardrum and measures across the frequencies of 100 to 16,000 Hertz. In each of the first measurements, I used air conditioner noise at 80 decibels SPL output from the speaker, which is sitting about 24 inches directly in front of me. The VeriFit system also includes a reference microphone hanging from the ear to help with calibration and measure the input to a hearing aid and then the output of the hearing aid. In this case, we're only using the output measurement because it's what's occurring inside my ear. In the first measurement, I ran the response for 15 seconds without my headphones. So the green curve represents how that air conditioner noise actually looks in my ear without anything in it or on it other than the tiny probe tube. The smaller line is typically used to measure the change in hearing aid response to noise, but because we're not utilizing any hearing aid features, it remains practically the same. The next test I ran was with headphones on my head and ears with transparency mode on, which is denoted by the purple line. Transparency mode is available on these devices and is used if you want to listen to your audio, but also have some awareness of the world around you. Apple uses external microphones to accomplish this, not too much unlike a set of hearing aids. You'll notice the slight changes in the frequency response at my ear, but not much. Works as intended, but with some sacrifice of the high frequencies that give us clarity. However, this is to be expected. The next test I ran was with transparency mode off, but with no active noise cancellation, simulating a normal set of circumoral headphones, so you can see what a typical, lesser expensive headphone may offer in noise reduction. This is shown by the aqua colored line. You'll notice a pretty great drop in most of the frequency range, but see the lower frequencies on the left of the graph are still fairly high. Low frequency noise reduction is notoriously difficult because of the increased length of the waveform and the lack of a great seal around the ear. The large wavelength of low frequencies is why you can hear the bass coming from someone's car when you can't hear the rest. You'll also note the peak around 2000 Hz, which seems to be a particular resonance in my ear. But we still have some great noise reduction at around 20 dB on average. The last measurement with the orange line is with active noise cancellation. In my opinion, this low frequency reduction is pretty impressive, but the overall measurement is kind of funny because of the increase in the mids and the mid highs between 1000 and 3000 Hertz. Looks like the mics and cancellation are actually adding some noise back, but with the noise playing from the speaker, it's not noticeable until you turn the noise cancellation on and off while under the stimulus. I've also conducted this test using multi-talker speech babble and measure similar results, which I thought was impressive due to the transient manner of speech 
as opposed to the steady state air conditioner simulation. Leave me a comment if you'd like to see those measurements. And also I'll upload the video at a later date. Overall, it's apparent that active noise cancellation actually works. Although it added back some minor noise in the real ear response. That response was negligible against the benefits of noise reduction and wouldn't be noticeable if you were listening to some audio through the headphones anyway. As far as protection against very loud noise, that would depend on the battery life, the seal around your ear, and a number of other factors. At this time, I would still recommend hearing protection designed for environments with loud noise like a Circumoral 3M industrial hearing protection, or a custom-made full shell plug if you're working in a noisy environment or going to a concert. But I would say the technology in these headphones is pretty impressive. If I had more time, I would like to try the same on my wife's Beats noise cancelling headphones and any other headphone out there. The ruling is in, and the technology actually works. Pretty cool. So thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Peace and quiet to all. The Hill Hear Better Clinic, helping you to hear better.